The construction of this end paper starts the same as a made end paper by gluing a coloured to a white and you do this twice of course for the two end papers. I've used a variation of this end paper many times over the years. The one I've used most recently was I just glue out a strip of uh, cloth about two inches wide, tip it on for about an eighth of an inch on the side that would attach to the text block and then wrap it around the uh, folio and uh, glue it down on the underneath what's going to become the paste down. I used this method about a year ago on four volumes uh, of newsletters and I wasn't really happy with the result. There was this bit of cockling on the paste down where the cloth was. I went back and had a look at Johnson to see whether I was following his instructions and realized that uh, I was way off his instructions. So this uh, video is going to follow what Arthur Johnson uh, describes as a uh, hidden cloth jointed end paper. And I've since used it and uh, uh, realized this is a much better approach. Arthur Johnson says, designed for better quality library style work, it is effective for any book where strength and appearance are important and ideal for music binding as it gives additional strength to the hinge. Average width of cloth is 50 millimeters or two inches. Jackanet is used for small books and book cloth for larger. The cloth joint is not stuck to the board paper as it may be included in the split board or put down on the board before the board paper. If it is attached and both are put down together, the paste will not penetrate the whole of the board paper and crinkles could result. So far I've just been demonstrating pasting the coloured and the whites together. If you'd like to see this in more detail I'd suggest having a look at the a made end paper video. I like to use a 50-50 mix uh, for this, which is usually recommended. I'll put uh, blotters in these and then put them in the press overnight to dry. Now it's time to put the cloth joint on. The strips of cloth I'm using mightn't be quite two inches wide. They're probably close to an inch and a half. I like to put adhesive on both surfaces. It usually results in a, a better join, uh, less likely to have areas that pull apart. So I'll just uh, uh, use the cloth to um, expose the white and then I'll put a piece of waste over the cloth, a, an equal amount. I put little marks there just to make it easier to uh, line up the amount I want. Now is when those little pencil marks come in really handy. It's also nice if you have a piece of cloth that doesn't uh, curl up. Hopefully you end up with a nice even overlap. Now it's time to do the second one.
Once the adhesive is dried, you can fold the cloth around the end paper. Now in the past, as I said, I'd glued this down to the paste down and as Arthur Johnson pointed out, that's probably what caused the cockling in that set of newsletters that I bound about a year ago. Now is a good time to trim up the excess cloth and the colour to size. The final steps are to attach the end papers by sewing through the colour and then tipping on the first sections and the end papers. I've described this a few times in video so I won't uh, go into too much detail now. But just in case you've missed my other thrilling videos or just want to see it again, I have included the whole process here.